once you've gone through the previous video, you'll see that I've been speaking about the VAT, the 14%. The sale is 100% and when you look at your selling price, your inclusive amount is 114%. Why is that so important? It becomes very important if you're asked to calculate the VAT exclusive amount when you're given the inclusive amount. That's when things start becoming a little bit trickier. What we've done and what we did in the previous video was I said to you, if I want to sell an item for 80 Rand, Okay. If I want to sell an item for 80 Rand, then I have to add 14%. I have to add 14% onto that and I have to sell the item for 91 Rand 20. But what if you are only given the inclusive amount and someone says to you, tell me what that would be, excluding that. It's a very difficult or it's a very different calculation and we've got to make sure that we understand how to do that. And it is quite complicated. It's not quite as simple as it seems. So pay very close attention. Can you calculate the exclusive amount if the inclusive amount is 120? Now, most students will go, yes, of course I can. They go 120 times 14%. But if you calculate that back and forth, you'll find out that that is not actually true. What we need for this calculation is your understanding of the fact that that 120 represents 114% of the sale. Okay. Remember, we said that you want to charge 100% of your selling price. The receiver says add another 14 on, which means what you end up actually charging is 114% of your selling price. So what would the 100 be? The way we calculate that, if the inclusive amount is 120, how do we calculate our VAT exclusive amount? Your 120, if we divide 120 by 114 what we are basically saying is let's break this 120 down into 114 parts why because remember we said that the vat inclusive amount represents 114 percent of the sale so in order to get this back to basics what we can say then is let's divide 120 by 114 multiply that by 100 to find out what your 100% is, what your original VAT exclusive amount is, and you'll find that that is 105.26. Okay, so 120 divided by 114 times 100. 114% means that there are 114 portions or 114 parts. So we're breaking this down into its 114 parts. And then we're saying, I want to know what the 100 is. The VAT amount itself, we would calculate by saying 120 divided by your 114 parts multiplied by 40 equals my 1474. Take 105.26, add 1474, and you'll find that you get 120 Rand. If you calculate this backwards and forwards, take 105 Rand 26 and multiply that by 14% and see whether or not you get 1474. Can you do it? Make sure that you do. When you're doing VAT, make sure that you can calculate it both ways, back and forward. So if you've got an exclusive amount, you should be able to multiply that by 14% and get the same VAT. And when you are creating an exclusive amount from an inclusive amount, the way to do it is by saying divide by 114, multiply by 100. <clears throat> and that will give me my exclusive amount. And the difference between the two obviously will give me my VAT. This particular calculation, very, very, very important. How to break this down, very important. You could write this completely differently. So you could also say my 120 times, and you could write this differently, and you say, instead of writing it the way I did, you say, times 100 over 114. My handwriting is terrible, sorry, I'm not normally right-handed. So what you would normally say, you could represent this formula by saying 120 times, that doesn't even look like 100, times 100 over 114, and to get the VAT, you could say 120 times 14 over 114. So some people understand it a little bit easier by putting it like that, or by breaking it down um, you know, breaking it down that way. Either way, that is a calculation that you must get used to. So you now go and calculate the VAT exclusive amount if the inclusive amount is 156. Make sure that you can always prove it, check it back and forward by multiplying your exclusive amount by 14%. Make sure that you can always prove that. 
One of the things that I, I need you to be comfortable with here between this lecture and the previous one is that you've got to be flexible with your calculations. In exams, you could be given the exclusive or the inclusive amounts. Make sure that you can work out the VAT from that. In the exam, be very careful and pay attention to the detail because if they say the amount is exclusive, you have to add VAT onto that. If they say the amount is inclusive, the VAT is already in there and you've got to take it out of there and that's going to be a little bit more complicated so you've got to make sure that you're going to be able to be flexible with your calculations i suggest that you work through these and the explanations a few times make sure you're very comfortable with this because students make a lot of mistakes when they're calculating this type of thing when they're calculating that